Recruitment here at Atlas Corp. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the four steps of the selection process to become an Atlas Corp Fellow in the United States. The process is extremely competitive. We receive around 3,000 applications per year for about 70 slots, but if you're eligible, I definitely encourage you to apply. How do you know if you're eligible to be an Atlas Corp Fellow? First of all, you need to have at least two to 10 years of professional experience in the social sector. You have to be proficient in written and spoken English. You have to be 35 years of age or younger um, at the beginning of the fellowship. Uh, you need to have a bachelor's degree or an equivalent. And you also have to intend to return to your home country after the fellowship. Step one of the application process is filling out the short form and then, if you are eligible, the long form of our application. The short form will ask you to confirm your eligibility as well as write a short professional biography, about one paragraph. Um, and then, if you are eligible after the short form, we will invite you to complete the long form, which is, as it sounds, longer. Um, the long form is going to ask you to write some short essays about your leadership experiences, your motivations for applying to the fellowship, your professional skills and interest areas, um, as well as your you know, goals for your future and why you're a good fit for this fellowship opportunity. During uh, step two of the application process, our strongest candidates and our most well-written applications will be interviewed by a member of our selection board. During the interview, we look for strong English communication skills, enthusiasm, motivation, um, good professional background, and why you are a good fit for this fellowship. If you've received a high scoring interview and you've reached step three, that means that you are a semi-finalist in our selection process. If you're a semi-finalist, you're eligible to be considered by one of our host organizations. What we do during this process is Atlas Corp matches the profiles desired by the host organizations with the profiles of our candidates in the semi-finalist pool. Um, so for example, a host organization may desire a, an Atlas Corp Fellow that has a strong public health background, is from a certain region of the world, um, you know, a public health expert from Africa, or someone really involved in environmental conservation efforts in Latin America, for example. Um, so host organizations will interview maybe a few Atlas Corp Fellows, uh, fellow applicants from this candidate pool. And then it's ultimately up to the host organization to decide which candidate, if any, they would like to choose um, to be a fellow at their organization. If you reach step four and a host organization has selected you to be an Atlas Corp Fellow at their organization, um, then congratulations, you've received the fellowship and we'll work with you to um, you know, book your flight and obtain your visa and everything else that's involved in the pre-arrival process. Conversely, if you're a semi-finalist and you are not selected by a host organization, we can still keep your application on file for later Atlas Core Fellowship classes. All you need to do is confirm that you would like your application to be kept on file for the subsequent classes. Information on the benefits and responsibilities of becoming an Atlas Corp Fellow, as well as um, information on deadlines and the timeline of the application process, can be found on our website, which is apply.atlascorp.org. The priority deadline refers to the deadline for the short form, or part one. If you have submitted the short form by the priority deadline and are then invited to the long form, you will have two weeks to complete the long form to still be considered for that specific priority deadlines class. If you don't complete the long form within the two week window, you can still be considered for later classes. We do accept applications year round, so even if you miss one priority deadline, you can still go ahead and submit that application and you can be considered for later classes 
um, for Atlas Core. We do have incoming classes three times a year, so even if you miss one priority deadline, there will be another one four months later. So that was an overview of the steps of our selection process. Um, for more information, again, please feel free to visit our website, and I wish you all good luck with the application.